we have a brand new Dragon Ball fan animation from our boy Lord Aizen. This guy has been cranking out Dragon Ball fan animations left and right. He is essentially at this point a professional in the Dragon Ball fan animation industry. You guys know him from all the different animations I've been reviewing of his on this channel. So I'm going to go ahead and leave his links in the description below in the top comment. Go ahead and check it out. But the reason that this one is extremely interesting is because this is the first one that basically animates the entire last chapter or at least the ending of the last chapter. We get to see a lot of animated gas, especially gas in his final form, which we rarely get to see. And we even get to see animated Monaito for better or worse, which is a character, you know, I'm not very fond of. But let's go ahead and see what this one looks like and uh, review it. Now, first and foremost, obviously, this is more of a simple flip a book type of fan animation, which, you know, I've reviewed here on the channel before. What I find really funny is that we are starting from the point where Monaito puts both Oil and Maki to sleep. This shit is hilarious because in the manga, as I stated before, it's like this power comes extremely out of nowhere. Like he could have used this at any point to help anyone in this in this arc he could have done it uh what 40 years ago to help help uh bardock out so bardock's not facing the heaters alone and yet he decides to use it here for like a split second i don't know to me that's just hilarious but the one other big change i see here is that he brought back ultra ego which wasn't in the original manga as you can see right here this is just regular vegeta holding on to gas but it's a nice touch because I did want to see Ultra Ego back again, especially for the finishing fight. But again, it's just a minor change. Okay, after watching that clip, honestly, it became apparent to me, like right there and then, why Toyotaro may be moving away from Master Ultra Instinct a little bit, because Gas was literally like miles away from Goku at that point. And it's not just in his animation, in the manga, as you can see right here, he's flown far away from Goku at this point, and Goku, just in a plot armor sort of move, ends up activating Mastered to the effect that he had back in the Moro arc, which is something that he's been trying to get away from the entire time, and then just grabs this dude and brings him back to him, like puts him back in place, which I think the the whole key Susano thing, I think that is the main reason why Toyotaro doesn't want to do Mastered anymore, because it actually, if you don't give this to anybody else, it kind of breaks, it kind of breaks the fights a little bit, you know? Cause this dude, I mean, he was far away and now you have this huge key being, huge key giant grabbing him, nabbing him up. And uh, it just seems a little unfair in my opinion, unless you give it to somebody else. Again, I would be all for Vegeta getting like a key Uzaru, a key great ape, a Suzano great ape kind of thing, like they had in Dragon Ball V, which is a Dragon Ball fan manga that I also review. But I don't think that's going to happen because they don't show Vegeta that kind of love. But again, uh, I, this is just, it became apparent to me after I watched this clip in this animation. <laughs> Bro, okay. So adding on to what I literally just said, and it's the exact same shit in the manga, but dude he launches gas into the stratosphere he launches him into space so that way granola has a shot so when i'm reading the manga i'm like looking at okay he just threw him up in the sky but no he actually throws him like really high if this was against anybody that wasn't gas's level this could be an instant ko 
from Goku using the Susanoo abilities. And so to me, I think that is extremely unfair and part of the reason that I feel like Totoro has written himself into a hole with this animation. Again, the animation, I know it's very simple, but it's really, really good uh, for what it is. And it's just with the way that this animated, I can see it in color, I can see it in movement. Now I can see the issues and the glaring problems with Master Ultra Instinct a little bit here, especially the way they have it in the manga. Cool ending, I thought this part was funny because it sounds like he says take the shot, but it also seems like this was uh, basically in Japanese dialogue, so maybe it's just a coincidence or maybe my hearing says take the shot, but it could be something else. Great animation, keep them coming, Lord Aizen. You're always animating things that nobody else is, so uh, keep up the good work. Subscribe for more content.